Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is related to linear transformer and in this we will primarily focus on reflected impedance. So linear implies that no magnetic material which because a non-linear flux versus current relationship is employed. Also these two coils, they have their internal resistances, so to cater for those, uh, we have, it has been represented by two external resistances, R1 and R2. Now the reflected impedance means the output impedance, uh, the effect of output impedance on the primary side. So that is why we say that this has been reflected and brought to the primary side and then what will be its effect. Okay, to uh, proceed further we convert the time domain circuit into phase domain or frequency domain. So we have multiplied the inductances with G omega. Also, uh, to take care uh, of all the voltages we have to keep in mind that there are mutually induced voltages in both. We have discussed this in the previous video also uh, and their effect uh, we can again uh, repeat. Now if we take the output current I2, this current is entering the non-dotted terminal. This is dotted terminal. So it is entering the non-dotted terminal. So on the primary side the non-dotted end or the lower end will become positive and the upper end will become negative. And moreover, the uh, mutual impedance, uh, mutual inductance J omega M will be multiplied by I2 to give the induced voltage. So our induced voltage will look something like this. It's negative at the bottom, uh, positive at the bottom and negative at the top. And J omega M I2, that is the magnitude. And similarly, the effect of this current on this side now this current is entering the dotted terminal, therefore the dotted terminal will be positive. That means the top end will be positive and the bottom end will be negative. So as shown here, the top end will be positive and bottom negative and uh, its magnitude will be J omega multiplied by I1. So now that our circuit is complete, now let's go and find out the voltages. So we take mesh 1. This is mesh 1, we start from one corner, so the voltage is minus phi Vs, minus is coming first, so minus Vs plus I1 R1 plus I1 R1 plus I1 J omega L1, so I1 J omega L1 and this voltage which is when we are coming, the minus sign comes first, so we we'll write minus J omega M I2, so it is minus J omega M I2. And then with rearranging, uh, this can be written as Vs, this term I1 minus J omega M I2. So this is our first equation. Now let's go to the mass 2. Mass 2 again, we are starting from here. So minus this voltage coming first. So minus J omega M I1, minus J omega M I1. This current is touching this terminal first so it will become positive so positive j omega l2 i2 positive i2 j omega l2 and then positive i2 r2 so positive i2 r2 and positive i2 z2 and again we arrange this so take in common so this is our second equation now this term is represented by Z11 and that is the impedance on the primary side and this term is called the impedance on the secondary side and a given name Z22. And now from uh, equation 11 and 12 we can write Vs is equal to this term Z11 I1 minus J omega 
i2 from here z11 i1 and j omega i2 and similarly this one is j omega minus j omega i1 and z2 i2 so we get these two terms now from here equation 14 we can find the value of i2 so i2 will be j omega m i1 over z2 and now we put the value of i2 into equation number 13 so z1 i1 minus j omega m and the value of i2 now the input impedance if you look from here the input impedance is uh, denoted by zn and it is actually this, this voltage divided by this current i1 so zn is vs over i1 and now if you plug in the value of vs so we get this value divided by i1 and now i1 i1 gets cancelled so we get a simplified equation zn is equal to z11 from here and from here j omega m multiplied by j omega m so j omega m square divided by z22 so this is the equation for input impedance and this right hand side is the reflected impedance because something has been added or subtracted uh, with the input impedance or the, the primary impedance Z11 of the primary side. Okay, now let's solve the practice problem. For this circuit, we have to uh, find Zn. So, as we have learned, first of all we have to convert this into a phasor form omega is also given so we just need to write j omega l1 j omega l2 and uh, this one j omega m okay so multiply by omega we find all the three values and then we draw the circuit or plug in the values. Now this is the phasor representation. Now in the first part of the question we have to find um, Zn for Zl equal to 10 ohms. That means this is 10 ohms. We got to use these formulas for Z11 this, Z22 and Zn this is the formula so let's proceed we just plug in the values directly for Z11 R1 J omega L1 R1 is 3 and J omega L1 is J10 similarly Z22 this was the formula from here again we plug in the values 6 j50 j50 and zl in this case is 10 ohms so plugging in that so this becomes the final value of z22 and now to find in zn we use this equation so zn is z11 and minus this actually i have written it like like this in the book he has used this format but I have I'm using this format j omega m square and so <clears throat> plugging in the value of z11 this one comes here minus j omega m square j omega j20 so square of that and z22 we found 16 plus j5 and then solving this one you know j square will be minus and 20 multiplied by 20 400 and value of this in polar form then dividing we get this part converting into rectangular form we get this term and then adding the terms so this is our final answer 
uh, Zn for Zl is equal to 10 ohms. Now, in, in the same way exactly, we'll uh, find for uh, Zl is equal to J20 and Zl is equal to 10 plus J20 and Zl is equal to the minus J20. So, just go quickly over this. The Z11 remains unchanged, the same one. Z2 changes because ZL has a new value now, 20. So we put that value, we find Z22, and then as we did in the previous case, we just plug in the values and follow the steps, keep solving, keep solving. So this is our final answer. And now the third part, when ZL is 10 plus J20, exactly same thing. Z11 remains same, Z22 changes, Z2 is rep represented by 10 plus J20, solving, we get this one. And now plugging in the main formula, this Z22, solving, solving, solving. This is the final answer. And lastly, when ZL is minus J20, again you plug in the value minus J20 and exactly follow the same procedure. So this is the answer. So I hope this gives you an idea as to how to solve the uh, problems and how to find out uh, Z, Z input uh, with different loads and taking into account the uh, reflective impedance. Thank you.